Okay, time for Japanese Central Park for me after we donate some shoes. And this one's gonna go get her nails done. Alright, time to go negative in clothing again. Park facilities. Sounds like a good idea. We are here. I think we're gonna go and just find the largest room we can and <laughs> see where we go from there. Pretty. But. Very nice. ceremony kind of thing. Hello, Kaka. See my sandwich. Yeah, today is our last day in Japan and Tokyo. So, looking back on the entire trip, I liked it. Osaka was pretty sick. Not too much going on there though. We only stayed there for about two nights. Kyoto was just amazing. It was like what I wanted out of Japan, I guess. It's not very city-like, it's very rural. The uh, people there are much nicer. Tokyo people are nice, but Kyoto people are really nice. Just because it's a much more small knit community. Trees in the open.
is where the anime gets all of its anime scenes, I think. Very, very serene. Six dollars and fifty cents. Pretty nice. Bike rentals, because <laughs> bike rental sounds pretty nice. That is 216. Yeah, okay. Uh, you can buy a rental bike only on the cycling track. Okay, okay. One, Sounds good. One up about two kilometers. Two kilometers. Thanks, good. Do I. Oh, I see. Thanks. Thank you. Two sixteen. We bought it at one sixteen. Oh.
Brake check. Brakes work. I know we didn't have time for two, but I just don't know if we have time for three or four since I've been going at a very slow pace. So we'll do a quick time check and see where that lands us and go from there. And the good news for us is we can check the time easily because the GoPro started recording the minute I got on the bike. So it started recording. The minute I got on there, we can see how long it's been. And we have, like I said, about an hour. Because 210 only uh, covers the hour. But 210 Canadian for an hour of bike riding is much better than the $80, $90 I paid for biking in Washington, D.C. So I'm having a blast. Yogi Park. Central Park is like much better. Would recommend. fenced area. That's a dog park. Oh, 
bicycle ride. Oh, they're going the wrong way. Oh no, that's the kitty way. It's a separate path. We zoom zoom across this one. Maybe I should take a nap here too. Tell you any where I am. Have her find me afterwards. Oh, training wheel park. That's what that is. times to appreciate all these little parks. That is adorable. I wish we had this in Canada. Whoa. Learning to ride a bike. They say you never forget, and then you really don't forget. But riding a bike is actually not. Some people think it's easy, some people think it's hard. Most people can get the hang of it after a little while. But I think I remember how I learned it as well. I used to have training wheels, but then one day I came to Canada. And after that, I didn't have training wheels. So, I'm gonna do that. And that was 36 minutes for $2.10. And really cheap. Got it this time. 
Nice. And then that's on there. Yep. It's good. Very fun. Would recommend. It's a very cheap experience, I think. to the south pond and then the north pond. Uh, don't know what that was. I think I'm it though. All the way to the south pond. Well, that wasn't very hard to find at all. Let's walk around the park on the outside, come through this part, and now we're here. Huh, bridal salon. Straight past the golden arches and turn left and go into that whole entire area. It's probably prettier. for Masons. This is by far the more expensive garden that we've been to. It's about 500 yen, so five dollars. The other garden that I really liked in the middle of the city, right by one of the exits, that one was only two, no it was 150. So very much cheaper, but it's the last day. You know, I want to see another garden. So, I paid for it. 3000 for dinner tonight. That's well more than enough. Because as I mentioned, you don't really need that much to get by. I wasn't recording, but there was one tourist that accidentally came in here and the guy was like, Excuse me, excuse me. Because the tourist thought it might have been free. We went through that area. We're here at the fishing part. We we'll go across to the top and then to the well. So we'll go this way and that way. The pay is a tourist gap, as in some tourists won't actually come here. I guess you can call it a paywall. So this area under paywall. Oh, wait. That's the tea house. Not open today, but tea house. I 
Tourist Garden. Kiyomasa as well. <laughs> There's another guy just chilling. Have a nap over there. Her Majesty the Empress Shouken frequently enjoyed fishing at the spot. What a big boy. Oh, he has a friend. Another big boy. Pretty cool. We have more big boys here. Big fish. We are here. Tori. We're gonna go to the the well. I wonder what they're growing. They should sell what they're growing at the uh, restaurant back there. Maybe they do. Maybe that's why the restaurant. Simple small dish was around $27 and had less content than what me and Jenny ate last night, which we paid $12 for. Highly flammable, but very cool. Let's see. I'm a little curious to see what they're planting. It says Kamada Nishiki. They're flowers. They're plotting flowers. It's supposed to look like that eventually. That. Neat. Turn my cell phone off. It's disrespectful in Japan. Well, well, well. I don't know what I expected. It's a well. Kiyomasa Ido well was first belonged to Lord Kiyomasa Kato during Edo. Yeah. As well as the fountainhead of Nanchi Sao Pond and the pure water gushes out in a steady flow all year round. This well is famous for the ingenious... Uh, ingenious way of sinking, but the well is sinking. The well is not sinking, no? I'm not entirely sure if I know what that means. No, this wall is famous for the ingenious way of sinking. So this wall is famous for ingenious way of sinking and the superiority of the water's quality, but you can't drink it. <laughs> well, that was well kept in a very well controlled environment and the weather is, well, very temperate. I will say that this was probably worth the 500 yen and well, some people might not want to pay that much for this area. I think those people will, will be well corrected that this is actually worth their well. I think well see this again the next time we come to Tokyo. Not a lot of tourists. Like, I got to just chill by the well for myself for like a couple of minutes there before the next tourist came around. Northgate. The tradition, the Japanese to French means coulé. Coulé. Coulé in French, it's flow or oh. sink. It's the same word. 
So they made a mistake. They translate sink instead of flow. That does make more sense. <laughs> That's a close snippet. <laughs> More interesting things? Mm -hmm. Whoa! Very nice well. The pond was definitely there. Some cosmos and some, oh, no water lilies, but might not be the year for it. Water, hello. Whatever this is, water. Now, in terms of the economy of good faith and good luck charms, in Kyoto, great luck was much cheaper. So was happiness. Happiness in Kyoto was around 300 yen, happiness in Tokyo was about a thousand. So, I guess. If you want to be happy in the city, it costs a lot more. Seven hundred. Seven hundred dollars? Yen. No honey, it took two hours. Oh. Fifty bucks Canadian. Eighty bucks. Canadian. No, wow. like eighty eight thousand yen. Eight thousand yen? Yeah. Yeah, that's eighty bucks Canadian. Eighty bucks. Ish. I think she gave me a discount cause because it was supposed to be like eighty five. But I think she You'll have pretty nails for the wedding photo shoot. They're hard, touch it. Like, it doesn't, like, you can't scratch these off because it's gel. They like, cure it in the lab. So you can't, like, it's pretty durable. Wow. 
Sarah's so looking a little ghetto. All the garbage. We are in Chinchipi. Is that the ghetto area? 